Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Let's head on over to Kuja's airship through his airship dock. With monsters there? He's got monsters on the way to the airship? I mean, can you imagine if you went to the airport and there were monsters on the way as you were passing through security? What the hell, game? Well, anyway, uh, the new weapon we got for Ico there? Holy crap! Look at that damage! I mean, from a white mage, that's huge! Yeah, that tiger wreck is really good on her, so... Can I make Ico take two damage? No. Oh well. But anyway, yeah, those guys are ogres, pretty easy to deal with. Uh, they do have quite a bit of HP, but we've got the damage to deal with them. Uh, if you got... Ooh, quite a few abilities to learn. But, uh, if you got, like, the, uh... What's it? If you got thievery, you could use that to one-shot pretty much anything at this point if you've been working on it long enough. So let's heal up there and see what other stuff I want Amaranth to be working on. Let's see. We're done with all of his claws. Don't equip the dragon claws, even though they're stronger. Uh, let's see. Montraban. No. We got the best stuff there. Best stuff there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to skip the mithril vest for now. Let's go with the uh, survival vest instead. Yeah. There we go. Well, there's the airship. Oh, that's a pretty nice dock you got here. Man, he's got this whole place carved out and everything. Wow, how did he build this thing? I suppose with the proceeds from the auction house. There is one particular enemy that I would like to demonstrate while we are here. If I can, that would be great. If not, well, take what you can get. Haha, -ha, here they are. Uh, Grimlocks. These guys are kind of weird. They will... Okay, if the blue ball or whatever that thing is. I don't know what the hell it is. But if that thing's on top, that means you want to use physical attacks on them. Okay, he stopped me. Nuts. Just when I was about to learn the locomotion ability. But anyway, if the blue part is on top there, then you want to use physical attacks. If the red part is on top, then you want to use magical attacks like No Mercy, uh, Freya's, what's that ability? The Lancer ability, you can use that. Uh, you could use thievery on either one, but they'll, like, switch back and forth, depending. So, okay, so far so good. I should have stole from that one, but oh well. I would have equipped things like Insomniac or Locomotion, but we're not going to meet up with these enemies after this area. So, I figured, you know what, why bother equipping them for such a small area? So, well, I guess I didn't get to demonstrate their magic switching thing, but you get the idea. If the red head is on top because they'll switch their balls around like that, then use the magical attacks. So, there you go. So it's kind of like those jugglers from Chrono Trigger, except it's not automatic that you use what attacks on which. Okay, that was just a bunch of ogres there. Oh, okay. How is he number 12? You know, shouldn't, like, they have died off by now? Or maybe he's the new number 12. I, I don't know. All right, so let's head on over there then. What's that? Oh yeah, I was like, what's that hole in the mountain there? Oh yeah, that's the airship dock. You couldn't see that on the world map though, could you? I, I guess I never really thought about, thought to check that, but huh? Well, there you go. All right, can we go a little faster, guys? Hmm? No, no, I suppose not. Well, it is the first airship that can fly without mist, so. Okay, well, you take what you can get. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Hey, guys. What's going on? Remember us from the, uh, your old home? Guys? Take a wild guess, viewers. What do you think? Well, we don't really have much of a choice. So, nuts. Nah, I suppose they're not going to talk to me, huh? Oh, well. But I was thinking, okay, now that we're past the point. I can actually discuss this. Uh, I was wondering, why did Kuja bring the Black Mages here? Or go to the Black Mage Village to bring them here, you know? I mean, it's not like he needs them specifically to pilot an airship. I mean, anyone could do that. You know? I mean, I mean it's not like he needed the army or 
you know, the monsters or the help with the magic or anything like that. You know, so I don't know. Well, I do know. Okay, let me say this. I think, or at least my guess, my interpretation is that he took whatever black mages he could in order to essentially lure us into the trap. So that way, you know, when the black mages were at the, or whatever black mages were left behind at the black mage village, they could tell us, hey, here's where Kuja went, and then we'd fall for the trap unwittingly to the black mages who would tell us to go there. So, I mean, obviously the ones who were left behind weren't trying to lead us into a trap, but, you know, Kuja was setting us up for that. And that's, that would also explain why he uh, didn't, like, burn the village to the ground or kill whoever stayed behind. Like, serve me or die or something like that. How did Kuja find the place anyway? I mean, they had that illusion thing that at least seemed to be working pretty well. But whatever. But that would be my interpretation of why uh, Kuja took the Black Mages back. I, I don't... I mean, I don't know that it makes entirely sense, but, well, there you go. That's that's the best explanation you're going to get, viewers. And, uh, yeah, Zorn and... Th well, we already knew Zorn and Thorn are working for Kuja there, but, uh, well, they're still working for him. So, there you are. Now, when you get to the Forgotten Continent... Yeah, they told us the name of the place. I'm not spoiling it. But, uh, when you get there, if you try to go back onto the airship... You can talk to Zorn and Thorn, and they will actually sell you items. So, yeah, this is the that's the name of it, Forgotten Continent. So, there you go. But, yeah, you can just buy items from Zorn and Thorn. Just talk to them. Or, I can do that right now. But, yeah, Wildvert is to the south there. So, uh, oh, actually, you know what? There is something that I do want to buy from them. They got a new item. I don't know if I could buy this before now, but I'm going to do it now. Vaccines. They cure the virus status. I hate that stand so much. But yeah, you definitely want to get like 20 of them because there's, uh, maybe not right now, but sooner and soon enough, you're soon enough. Okay, so we could head on south to Wildbird. It's right there, pretty easy to get there. Or we could go exploring and do some side quests. I'm sure Zorn and Thorn won't mind. Or our friends back home, or back at the Desert Palace there, but yeah. Watch out for that. Now, there is another Q's Marsh over there. We could have brought Kino along to catch some more frogs, but there's a very good reason you should not. And I'll explain why when we get to that point, but I don't want to say so right now. But anyway, we got a whole bunch of new enemies around here. Most of them got over 4,000 HP, or around 4,000. So it's pretty hard to take them down with your physical attacks. So what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much going to stick to thievery. If you do not have thievery, well, then you're going to have to use your physical attacks, and it's just going to take you a while to kill them. So, oh well. So yeah, just steal an item, then go for thievery. I always like to steal at least once a battle, but, you know, whatever works for you, viewers. Looks like the house that escaped from, uh, from Final Fantasy VII, except it's got a cannon on it now. Well, there we go. Alright, got him. And like I said, a lot of the enemies around here give really good experience and ability points. So, yeah, you definitely want to take advantage of that. Okay. Now, since we got those ability points, one other thing I want to point out to you, viewers, is that there's a friendly creature that I want to meet up with around here that gives 40 ability points times 2. That's 80. So now that we're within 80 ability points of learning auto life, I want to switch to something else for her. Uh, could be anything else. Um... What was I working on? Oh, yeah, her summons, obviously. Uh, let's see. Carbuncle. Okay, there we go. We'll work on that. And uh, I'll give the Rebirth Ring to Zidane temporarily just because. I don't care how quickly he can learn it. I also got Freya on the running shoes now since she's within 80 of learning Auto Reflect there, which is what I want to use the friendly creature for on her. So there we go. So let's see. Let's just keep on heading northwest of the Q's Marsh there to some Chocobo Tracks. And another random enemy. Game? I was almost there. Oh, we got a new one here. Katoba Pass. This is why I've got Beast Killer on Zidane there. So that way I don't have to use uh, Thievery on this guy. We can just go all out with normal physical attacks. 
I wish I could have gotten MP Killer on him too, but I figured since I'm going to be having him use Thievery a lot, I want to have Auto Haste on him so that way he can steal and then get his next turn really quickly right after that. Well, alright, there we go. And he can deal pretty good damage without MP attack anyway. So there we are. Again, some good experience and ability points. Do the locomotion. Awesome, Freya. Let me see if I want to uh, change something up on Freya there. and I'll be right back. No, nope, nope, we're pretty good on Freya there. But uh, now that I've got uh, made it to the Chocobo tracks, let's go exploring with our Chocobo around here. He this is where having a Chocobo is really, really handy. So, uh, let's see. Let's go for... Which one is it? Is that the Forgotten? Yeah, the Forgotten Plains. Let's go check it out. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Now, you see this little castle over there? We could check it out, but there's not a whole lot we can do there right now. I think the door is locked or something like that, so not much we can do there for now. Uh, let's see. If we go over here... Ha-ha! There it is. Lots of really good treasure on the Forgotten Continent here, so... Got some ore, feathers, opals, and a demon's mail, an upgrade for uh, Freya there. All right. Oh, I forgot to check out the clue for this one. Let's see. Okay. Well, there you go. It's on a plateau. So, let's see. Next one is Dusk Plains. Hmm. And... Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. No, I don't want to get off my chocobo. Okay. Now, in order to get to Wild there, since that's pretty much where... We gotta go, or, well, yeah, that's pretty much where we gotta go. But, uh, if you don't have a chocobo or you just want to walk there, which eventually I do, actually, to, to grab a lot of experience and ability points. So, I'll just show you how to walk there if you really want to. So, you go down here, head to the right, then we go left through here. Lots of winding canyons, but we can make it. Go over here. I hope I'm going in the right direction. Nah, now nah, I am. Uh-oh, a dead end. Well, not so fast. But yeah, then you just go around here. And there's Wild Bear, for all, for, if you care. So, that's where you can go if you want to walk there. But there is, there's some other items that I want to get here. Ah, now this one is real tricky. I don't know how you're supposed to see it, but there's like a crack in the mountain right there. It kind of blends into the rest of the cracks in the mountain, you know? But... No, I don't want to go there. I do want to feed him a dead pepper. Ha! Got it. And in this treasure, we get a Maiden's Prayer, a unique accessory. The Dragon's Hair, one of the best weapons in the game for Freya there. It's huge. It's like, I think, 77 attack power. Gauntlets, another upgrade for Freya. Wow! It's some amazing treasure we got there. Okay, well, let's go uh, get this Chocograph as long as we're in the area. Let's see. Let's head on down here. See, around here somewhere. Ha! There we go. Boy, I'm just finding lots of treasure today. There's treasure everywhere! Let's see, we get the Kaiser Knuckles. A very excellent upgrade for uh, Amaranth there, so I definitely want to equip him with those. And there's one more thing that I want to pick up. I could have done it on the way, but, well, I wanted to show you how to get the Wild Bear first, and I'm probably not going to do everything that I want to do over here in this episode today. Let's see, we are looking for a forested valley. So, let's see. If we go up here... Did I... Ah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, you see this forest here. And then there's some cracks in the mountain there. So, let's check this one out, too. Yeah, it's a real good thing that you've got that mountain chocobo. At least the mountain chocobo. And you can't get on to the Forgotten Continent because there's cliffs surrounding the whole thing. So, but we get a Genji helmet for Freya there. Awesome. And I think there's a Medane's ring there. And there's also another friendly creature right around in this forest, which I'll be finding next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.